In this video, we'll take a look at the possibilities of government intervention when there is a single foreign monopolist supplying a domestic economy. The bottom line question is, if the only source of a product is from a foreign monopolist, is free trade a good idea? Is the standard story about the imposition of a tariff being a bad idea for a small country relevant and appropriate when there's a foreign monopoly? So we're going to think of a situation, say like a pharmaceutical product where the only source of this product is from a foreign company. The single foreign company makes this, let's keep it simple, and there is no possibility of domestic firms producing this product. So the only place you can get it from is a single foreign firm. And we're going to make a couple of other important assumptions here. One is that domestic demand is linear. That is to say, it's a, a straight line. The importance of that will become clearer in this and also a subsequent video. One aspect of a domestic demand curve being linear is that marginal revenue is going to be twice as steep as the domestic demand curve. This is a, an aspect of just the, the calculus of this, but it's important to note, and I want you to keep this in mind, that the marginal revenue curve is going to be steeper than the demand curve. The other aspect of this is that there is going to be a constant foreign marginal cost. So the foreign firm is going to take a look at this and say, okay, I want to pick an output such that marginal cost equal to marginal revenue, and then take a look at the demand curve and see what price the market will bear. And so you have a private or a monopoly price greater than marginal cost to the foreigners so that there's some distortion in this market. And it makes sense for the, the domestic economy to import some of this. There is consumer surplus associated with the foreign monopolist. If you don't import it from the foreign monopolist, you don't get it from any place. So it makes sense to import some. The question is whether or not it makes sense to import it at free trade with no intervention by the government. So I want to take a look at the possibility of using a kind of strategic decision by the domestic government to improve the situation inside the domestic economy. And in particular, we're going to look at the imposition of a tariff. We're going to examine the benefits and costs of imposing a tariff on this foreign monopolist. So from the foreign monopolist, their, their decisions are changed in the following way. They have their domestic, their own domestic marginal costs of production. To operate in this market, they've got to pay that, and they've got to pay the tariff. So we've got the foreign marginal cost plus the tariff is the relevant cost for the foreigner from operating in this market. Okay, so they will respond accordingly. They now look at where marginal cost is equal to the marginal revenue. Okay, the new marginal cost here re uh, reflected with the tariff. And they will choose that point. That's where marginal cost equal marginal revenue. And what you see is that they will reduce output in this market as a consequence of the tariff. And in addition, will choose ultimately to pass on at least some of that increase in the cost to the domestic consumers. So there'll be a higher domestic price as a consequence of the tariff. Now they don't simply pass along the entire amount because they, they're the only firm. They've got to take it into account the marginal revenue because 
because they are acting as a monopolist. Okay, so what are the consequences for this policy? Well, first, we have this area called A. A is the tariff rate multiplied times the amount that's sold in this market. So A is the tariff revenue. And this is taken out of the profits that the foreign firm used to earn. And the foreign firm used to earn profits equal to the difference in the between the price and the margin cost multiplied times the imports. Now they have to pay out of their profits some amount to the domestic government. So that's a transfer from the foreign monopolist to the domestic treasury. Okay? So that's a benefit. And then you have this area B. Area B is the consumer surplus lost when there's the imposition of the tariff. That's the change in the price over to the demand curve. So B is a downside of this. This is a consumer surplus loss. So we've got profits being shifted from the foreign firm to the domestic treasury, but you have the imposition of these cost to domestic consumers. Cost benefits, well, the net effect depends on the difference it turns out as long as the marginal revenue curve is steeper than the demand curve then the tariff will actually cause greater benefits from the revenue than from the consumer surplus loss so let me repeat that as long as the marginal revenue curve is steeper than the demand curve, well, the benefits from the tariff revenue exceed the losses to consumers. So let's think about what that means. A very steep marginal revenue curve means that there's a relatively small change in the amount that's sold inside this market. So if you imagine this marginal revenue curve steeper or flatter, the more the steeper it is, the smaller this difference will be, the more tariff revenue will be imposed on the foreigner. If they don't change their sales at all, then you clearly would have the, you know, a, a lots of revenue. If they reduce the quantity sold a lot, then revenue would be less. And the flatter the demand curve, the smaller the impact is on consumer surplus. So it's that combination of the two that, that really is the key part. And again, as it turns out, it's, if the marginal revenue curve is steeper than the demand curve, the tariff will be welfare improving. So here's an instance <clears throat> where you alter the circumstances of the, domestic, the international competition, having a foreign monopolist, resulting in a tariff possibly improving the welfare, even of a small country, facing these foreign monopolists. So if you've got linear demand, a tariff will be welfare improving for the domestic economy with a foreign monopolist. Now, in another video, we'll take a look at this when the demand curve is actually steeper than the marginal revenue curve, and we're going to get a different result.